With Valentine's Day coming next month, I thought I would bring you three easy and fun styles that can be done in under 10 minutes. Two of them can even be done in five, so let's go ahead and get started. Our half up braided heart is done with the front section of the hair and on a diagonal. So I'm simply sectioning out a third of hair from the forehead to the crown. And once I've got this hair sectioned out, I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of spray gel and comb it over to the side and put it in a little side ponytail. From here, I'm going to take a topsy tail tool. And if you don't have one of these tools, I've linked them in the description below. I'm going to bring it through the bottom of the ponytail and slip it until you see it in the middle of the top part of the ponytail. I'm then going to bring the hair through the loop, as you see me doing here, and pull it up through the top. Now you can do this using your fingers. You just separate the hair and bring it through. Some people are really great just using their fingers. I like my tox Topsy Tail tool because it came with a two pack for like $5. I use it all the time and it creates beautiful neat flips every time. So from here, I'm taking this ponytail and separating it into two, and I am simply going to create two or three strands braid, three strand braids. Now I'm going to angle my braids up towards the top. I feel like if you pull down on the top C tail area um, and braid towards the back of the head, that you don't get as cute of a heart shape when you go to shape the heart, um, just from personal experience. So I'm going to take both sides of my braid and I'm going to wrap them around so that there's a little bit of slack. I'm going to actually make a heart shape. And then once I've got a heart shape make, made, I will pull it up just a little bit and add an elastic. I've still got this heart shape, heart shape here. I can't say heart shape today. And I'm just gonna use some bobby pins to bob, bobby pin it into place. Now the back part of this style is a little bit floppy. So what I'm going to do is take a small section of hair right behind it and simply anchor the heart down to the small section of hair. That way the heart's not flopping back and forth um, on the child's forehead during the day and it stays in place. So that is our first style. Our second style is much the same idea, but it's a, an all up style. It's a twisted ponytail heart. So again, I'm going to take a third of the hair and section it off from the forehead to the crown. And this time, instead of bringing the ponytail at an angle, I'm simply going to bring it straight back and secure into a ponytail. And then on the back of the hair, I'm also going to create another ponytail. Now, the higher the ponytail, the more um, of a heart shape that you're going to have. With this, I'm doing a lower ponytail, so the heart shape isn't as pronounced, but you can do a higher ponytail and have a more pronounced heart shape. From here, I'm using the topsy tail tool exactly like I did in the braided style. I'm just flipping it up, up through. Now, if you don't have one of these topsy tail tools, I've linked it in the description below. I'm simply doing a rope twist now. To do a rope twist, you're gonna twist both strands of the hair to the right and then over the left. Continue twisting the hair over, twisting it to the right and then crossing over the left. If you need a slow video on rope twists, I will link that in the description below as I do have one of those. Once you learn to do them, they're actually pretty easy. So I'm just going to clip the first side of my heart to the ponytail and then I'm gonna do a rope twist on the other side. Again, I'm twisting the hair to the right and over the left. I know it's a little bit fast, but as I said, I will link um, a video on how to do a rope twist below if you don't know how. And you can always braid these pieces too, it's super cute braided. So we're gonna bring both sides to the bottom of the ponytail to make our heart shape. And that is it for this super cute twisted heart ponytail. Now our last style is a little bit more involved. It's a peekaboo side heart. This one will take about 10 minutes to do, but the end effort is well worth it. Um, and it stays really well all day. So I'm taking a third of the hair and I'm bringing two thirds of that hair over into a side ponytail, securing it with an elastic. The other one third of the hair, I am going to split into three sections and simply make three ponytails. Now I do these kind of time, time lapse, so those of you that don't need to um, watch them really slowly, that um, you can go through it kind of fast. If you do need to, you can always go back and watch again how I have 
um, done the style if you need to watch it a second time. So here I have my three ponytails on the right. With the front ponytail and the back ponytail, I'm simply going to create a regular three strand braid. Now this just needs to be long enough to reach over to the ponytail on the other side. We're just going to do this again with the back ponytail. Again, once it is long enough, you're just going to bring it over to the other side. And then I'm going to clip the front and the back ponytail with an elastic or secure it with an elastic to that side ponytail. This next part I'm going to go a little bit slower because it's really important you follow all of these directions. I'm wetting down this middle strand so it's really wet. I'm also spraying it with spray gel and then running it through the hair. This is really important because you want the hair to be sort of stiff when your heart dries so that it will stay. So I'm taking this strand and I'm coming about three-fourths of the way from the strand to the ponytail. I'm simply going to twist the strand a few times and then kind of fold it over about an inch. Once I've got it folded over about an inch, I'm going to take an elastic around this little loop maybe three or four times. So this is going to start uh, the first part of your heart. From here, I'm going to take a bobby pin and simply bobby pin this little loop just make sure that you can't really see it. Kind of bring it back um, behind the braids. Um, it's pretty easy to disguise. My next step is to split this ponytail in half and twist each side a little bit. Because it's got water and spray gel in it, you notice that it's a little bit stiff um, and it easily takes the shape that I want it to. If you don't have product in it, it's not going to stay um, and be as neat as you want it to be. From here, I'm simply going to add an elastic and then after you've added an elastic, you can uh, move the heart around how you want it and you have the two little braids peeking through. So that is this finished style. This one holds really nicely all day long um, as long as you use product in the heart. So there are all three of our styles. We hope that you liked it and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know if you like the style, where you're from, and we will see you guys next week with a new hairstyle.